actually am thrilled about the future and thinking about how we're going to introduce the world to these 12 visionaries. And I'm looking forward to talking about them and, and, and exposing as many people as we can to the work they're doing. When you introduce me to this world, both the visionaries and the people around the visionaries, it's been transformative for me. And in a world that sometimes seems chaotic and confusing and where there's so much negative noise, you know, these are such clear voices for, for positive change and activity. One of the things that we've both learned from this project is the significance of the visionaries listening to their inner voices and giving themselves permission to follow that voice and to follow their passions. And I think it sometimes at enormous cost, you know, and yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. I think for me, interestingly enough, my inner voice was telling me it was time for me to share all of this mm -hmm. and to educate others about it. And and that this was a, a next chapter for me. Peter, remind me of that sequence of, of how we landed on Hearts and on Fire, because it was such a process. So we had many different titles. A couple of months ago, Andisha Farid, uh, who is this incredible uh, Afghani woman who's starting these orphanages, uh, was telling about her experience of being a refugee in Iran um, and having her, her, her heart felt like it was covered in ashes. And when she opened her first orphanage in 2003, I think it was, how her heart felt on fire. And Jill looked at me, I was sitting, you know, watching Jill interview her, and she said, I think we have our title. And what it does is it captures the heart part and the passion part, but also kind of the action part, that there's something to be done here and the passionate part. So that's, that's how I remember it. That's how I remember it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah.